Before going into that, let's understand how these standard costs are set in the business. So this part here just gives you a brief theory, a brief background on how usually these $8 variable expenses or $10,000 fixed expenses, how is it usually set, budgeted beforehand? So remember what we're doing here is planning ahead, right? A lot of these things, budgets happens we're budgeting for the next four months, and these are the numbers that not yet happened. We're just assuming or projecting these numbers. So what standard cost means, it means a budget for the unit price. So a lot of the things, the problems that you learned in the first three chapters, 16, 17, 18, remember we learned about direct materials, how do we assign labor costs, manufacturing overhead, those were based on actual numbers that happened. The transactions, remember we journalized it. We post it to T accounts. We summarized it. Manufacturing overhead a table, right? So those are the costs that happens afterwards. After you produce the products, you summarize what was the price that you paid to supplier, then you divide it by how many units that you actually produced. Then you assign direct material costs. So you summarize the total labor costs that you spent, that you paid to the employees. You divide it by how you, the number of outputs that you got at the end. So those were the actual numbers. Here we're referring to projected numbers. So basically the projected unit cost is what we call standard cost here. So how do accountants set these? We have to set it at the price level. We also have to project what is the quantity that will flow into the product. So this is basically the same thing that you learn besides that this is the budgeted side. So just like last chapter, we learned about statements. Those were the budgeted statements, not the actual statements.